Blue Light Special. Sean's and my driving itinerary began with a not nearly as early an a.m. departure from Des Moines, Iowa as I'd planned. And it was my south by southeast driving that took us to the fertile fields of Iowa's eastern half to far eastern Missouri where we gassed up and changed drivers just south of Hannibal M.O., the hamlet made famous by Sammy Clemens, Huck, Tom, Becky, and Injun Joe crew. Crossing the Ohio River, Sean was behind the wheel as we entered the northwest corner of Kentucky where I uttered, but will it play in Paducah? A timeless line that received a blank stare from my early 90s millennial offspring. Continuing our ABAB -A -B pattern of driving, I was back in the driver's seat as we skirted Hopkinsville KY, home of the infamous Todd K, and with no gnashing of teeth, we gassed up and changed drivers for the last time of our day's drive just north of Nashville, as Sean prepared to take us down the twisty bits of the final leg of our cross-country jaunt together. Google Maps had indicated a 14-hour and 14-minute drive time between Des Moines IA and Clayton GA, and I'd hoped that a 5 a.m. departure would allow for a dinnertime reunion with my beloved goddess Durga. But driving along, my hope for a before-7 arrival was soon gone with the wind and scattered among the mountain backwater backwoods haunts east of Chattanooga, and especially between Felix Hollow GA and Tallulah Persimmon, where the roads are twisty and best navigated in daylight rather than starlight. As mentioned in Down and Out in Boise, Idaho, my skill with a manual shift car rated a grade of C- minus at best, a skill level that had, mostly, proven adequate for highway driving. But at the end of a long day of driving, I was in no way up to the task of negotiating twisting mountain roads running through hamlets with traffic lights at night. Sean <clears throat> may have grimaced when I stalled his car once and had definitely uttered disparaging words when we changed drivers that one time and he'd left the car in neutral with the engine running and I tried to start a Civic, an action that produced some decidedly uncivil commentary. Oh, and the controls for activating the Honda's cruise control? Decidedly different from those of Ford or Toyota, another glitch that raised my poor boy's BP repeatedly. I doubt Sean is any less patient at 30 years old than I was as a 30 year old, but he is def definitely less patient than I am at 206% of that age. It's late, it's dark, his bed is calling, and in his impatience as he drives and catches the rare car on the road, he attaches himself to the bumper of the car ahead, his tailgate absolutely giving me fits and seemingly making the driver whom he is tailgating go even slower just for spite. We survive a couple of these encounters and are above the speed limit on twisty roads when we see another car in the distance who is driving perhaps 5 to 10 mph above the speed limit. Sean is gaining on said car when he slows and says, that's the Popo, his preferred moniker for the police. Hmm, I respond, wondering if his statement is true and if so, how he determined this when the car had received just enough ambient illumination for my tired old eyes to see that it is indeed a marked patrol car. Impatient or not, Sean does not tailgate the patrol car, but does drive at the same five to 10 MPH over the limit as our Georgia Highway Patroller, a decision that has nearly fatal consequences. Sean is not tailgating, and though he is speeding, his rate of speed is certainly within the realm of reasonable when disaster's evil grin materialized with its malicious laugh. The patrol car's rooftop blue lights start flashing, and just as I wonder if he's going to pull us over for speeding, the car slams on his brakes and attempts to do a U-turn, A-T-T-E-M-P-T-S. Failing to complete his U-turn, our outstanding peacekeeper throws his car into reverse directly in front of us and backs into our lane, and my impatient but physically gifted offspring manages not to strike the wayward officer whose patrol car apparently lacks a rearview mirror. <sighs> Sean and I utter choice words, words that in G-rated comic strips are usually signified by stringing punctuation marks like pound, at, asterisk, and plus equals exclamation mark, exclamation mark, exclamation mark, exclamation mark together. Words we both shout as our hearts momentarily exit our chest and spring from our mouths. Recovering sufficiently to express myself in words other than profane ones, I declare Deus Pater, Deus Filius, Prope Deum Animus, before turning to Sean and saying, that's Latin for, wow, that was a close one. K 
Continuing through the night, we arrive at Clayton's Blackley Drive, home of the Airbnb my darling Durga has rented. And Sean, after joining me inside to hug his mama, drives the final 15 miles alone while I, after eating a bowl of cereal for dinner, receive the traditional hearty welcome home given to wandering spouses who've engaged in worthwhile, benevolent, and difficult quests.